Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to look at, I guess this is it, and this is going to be a two-player game published by Button Shy Games. And this is going to be one of those unique games from Button Shy Games, such as an RPG game. I've talked about uh, a couple of these earlier, and this one here is going to be the first two-player version that I'm going to talk about. And this one is going to be a relationship-oriented game, so you have to be okay with that. And in this game, you're going to be developing a storyline to say goodbye to the other person. So let's go ahead down to the table here. I'll show you how the game plays, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, so we're gonna take a look at, I guess this is it. We had such a good run. We, had, we were great together. Now we stand in front of each other just minutes before our last goodbye. There's so much to say and so much we know will be left unsaid. So this game here is going to be a RPG style game where you're going to generate, nurture, and complete a story throughout the progress of this game. You're going to have these two cards put out separately. So this is, I guess this is it, and I'm sorry I have to go say goodbye. And you're gonna shuffle up these cards. You're going to deal one card to each player, and then you're going to create a, uh, with the 12 cards, a three by four grid. So, okay, so now I'm gonna place the goodbye card here. And this card here will be between the two players. I guess this is it. And each player has their own little card there. All right, so what do you do in this game? First, you're gonna to need to decide to get together what the nature of your relationship is. Which one of you is leaving and which one is staying, which, why you're saying goodbye, and where does your goodbye take place. So you're gonna determine all this. It's gonna set your scene for the entire game. For the person leaving, you wish you could stay a little longer, but you know your time has come. Express how you feel, but remember it's always harder for the person staying. Person staying, you wish they'd stay a little longer, but you know you have to let them go. Express how you feel, but remember the guilt the person uh, leaving is carrying. Spend some time envisioning this setting, considering the time period and the scenario and the overall mood of the goodbye scene. You can be fantastical or realistic as you wish. How to play. The player starts uh, starting the game on their turn must draw one or two of the story cards. So the way the story is going to progress is it's going to go uh, this way. So it's going to snake up, down, and then back. That's how the story will progress throughout the game. So they can draw one or two of these um, cards here. Starting from here, going all the way up until they get to, I guess this is goodbye. All right, so after you decided whether you want to draw one or two story cards, you have to play a story card from your hand connecting the previous story cards that were played. To play a story card, you must fill three conditions. One of the sides of your card must connect to the available side of a previously played card. So let's say, for example, I played, I've played this card and then one of the sides of this will have to match. So like that. The player connecting sides must show the same link. So as you said, as I showed it, this is going to be the symbols that you're trying to link up. Uh, cards can never overlap. And the third and final thing is they have to narrate what the person says, considering the link type, the prompt and the image on the story card they played. So the link types are going to be these symbols here. So these symbols here, here, and here. The prompt is written on it. So I, I would, if I picked up this one, the prompt is actually called change. Okay. 
and the image illustrate may be used for inspiration of the story too. So these are generally like abstracty, some like this is like a ghost horse or someone riding a horse. So you can use these, uh, but you don't have to use those ones. So you can use the image if you want. I would highly recommend doing that because it's going to uh, spur creativity in it, especially with some of them that don't quite work out, but you can think like of an abstract reason why they would. Uh, you don't have to say snake. You could be like, well, abstractly a snake might mean what? And then you add that into your story and create the dialogue. Uh, put yourself in the position of the person that you're playing. Understand how they feel. Revisit the decision you have made before the game started. Visualize where you are, the surroundings, the colors, the sounds, and use these to form your story. So the different symbols on here for the top one here is going to be memory. Memory here, uh, and these are the effects on here, uh, you may pay an extra card. You bring up the past and an experience you had together after uh, you narrate the memory, you may play an extra card from your hand and narrate it. Wish, which is going to be this one right here. Wish, your partner may pass you a card. You share a desire and advance advice, a demand, or a promise. After you narrate that wish, your partner may pass you a card. The next one here is apology. Apology, your partner may skip their next draw. Uh, you ask and offer for forgiveness for something that hurt you or share something you regret. After the narration of that apology, your parent or partner may skip their turn. All right, so down here, you have recognition. You may pass a card to your partner. You show your appreciation for them or for something they have. After you've narrated that feeling, you may pass this card to your partner. All right. And the last thing that we're going to talk about is going to be synchronization. Check the card you've played and the card that you've connected to to see if you're in sync. If the cards align edge to edge, long to long or short to short, then you're in sync. If your cards do not line long to short, then you are not in sync and you must advance the goodbye pile. This uh, represents the time to say goodbye is approaching. Uh, each uh, take the goodbye pile and place it on top of the next card. So basically this would go there. And if it happened again, it would keep moving along. It would move here. And if it, happened again, it would move along here. So the end of the game comes even closer. So when you're linking these up, not only do you want to try to link the symbols, but you're trying to also want to be in sync. So there's a lot of things in that you're going to decide. Uh, when no story cards remain on the grid, it's time to say goodbye. The person leaving needs to say uh, goodbye words, uh, then gets up and leaves. After a short break, get back together and reveal the cards in your hand. Those are the things left unsaid. Look at them together one by one and silently reflect on their meaning, on how you wish you had just a little bit more time together. If you both had the same number of cards in your hand, you at least feel that you were on the same page and your conversation was in sync, like good old days. Otherwise, there was a nagging sensation that one of you uh, was maybe a little selfish or neglectful to the other person's feelings. Now reveal all cards under the goodbye pile. Those are things left unsaid also. And things you will forget about each other in the coming years. Look at them together one by one and again silently reflect on how you will miss them. All right, so that was, I guess this is it. Let's go ahead back up to the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts. So I guess this is it. It's going to be a interesting sort of RPG dialogue that you're going to have with another player as a two player game. These cards are going to give you the structure that you're going to try to follow throughout this conversation. And you're going to, like I said, try to create the initial setting and then move through to hopefully a good finale in here. And you're trying to stay in balance and sync throughout the conversation and trying to have the same number of cards between each player by the end. So there's a lot of really cool things that you're going to have to work through throughout this game and 
how to uh, progress the story and how to keep the story cohesive is going to be the interactive and fun part of the game because each of these cards are going to be randomly dealt out so you're going to have to deal with the different portions at different times for your uh, uh, resolution and your starting premise will hopefully be different each time you do it this is one of those games that you can just bring out and uh, have if you're just hanging out with your friend you have nothing you know to do this gives you something to do uh, great rpg game for that and if you think like Roy story cubes where you have a little bit of like a guidance towards the game this one does too and this one really has more it makes you be more creative because you have to deal with like being able to think about matching up and keeping those cards in line so you're going to have to figure out how that fits in your story and then adapt it for that so really fun it also has a guidebook in here that helps out a lot too i just want to mention that real quick but if you're looking for a fun two-player rpg game you may want to check out i guess this is it and that's my thoughts on it thank you for watching